So one of the things we were talking about core activation or bracing is making sure that our ribs aren't flaring up. So if you're someone who's struggling to understand or know what that feels like, this is a good exercise to help you drill that home. So all we're gonna be doing here is what we call a supine band pullover. So I'm gonna be on my back here. I got my band anchored up here. And all I'm gonna be doing initially for this first, if I can grab it, for this first exercise is on my back. All I'm trying to do is just pull this band here. So you do need a little bit of tension on this to get what you're trying to get out of it. The harder I pull, the more it's gonna force these, these muscles to pull down. And if you need to, you could even think about doing like a little bit of a crunch. It's very hard for me to sit up and do this with these ribs flared open like that, right? So the intention is to depress and get these ribs to pull down as opposed to that flare. And, th and that flare, you're gonna find that oftentimes you'll find that lower back hyperextended buckle. So the way that we like to encourage these being done is pulling down first and foremost so you understand what that feels like. And then we'll kind of rep this out. And then from there, we wanna be able to integrate our breath pattern to be able to hold this and breathe. Because what'll happen is oftentimes patients or clients can do this, but then the moment we ask them to breathe, we go, and then we lose that, right? So the intention is to be able to still take a diaphragmatic breath in which my torso will ever so slightly behind the shield of the abs engaging, open and close. We don't want, we're, we're, not, we're not teaching big deep breaths here. All we're simply saying is usually we'll cue by putting hands here. You could use a breath belt, whatever. Breathe into that lower back, into the sides of your abdominal wall. I usually don't cue belly breaths because then most people just push out their belly and hyperextend. We want to be able to maintain this. Breathe in and out while maintaining this hold. And that is helping us breathe behind the activation of our core rather than relying on breath holding to be what stabilizes your core.